Welcome to Zach D TV, the place for interesting news from around the net. In today's episode, we're going to look at a new offering from Mercedes, a very cool Warthog reproduction, an electric car that's going to be sent into police use. And if you want interesting news seven days a week, then click the subscribe button right here. And if you hit that bell, you'll know when I upload something new. All right, let's get into this. You know, I want to start off with just 30 seconds of funny. Check this out. This is happening in China. They always tell you don't use your cell phone while you're driving. Don't text and drive, stuff like that. This is why. First off, can you believe that sinkhole opened up like that? And then, boom, guy is in it. I couldn't help but laugh when I saw this. I mean, I hope the guy is okay. But this is what you get when you don't pay attention to the road while you're driving. So always remember, don't use your cell phone while you're driving down the road. Or the earth might just swallow you whole. Next, let's look at this Mercedes Maybach Vision 6 Cabriolet. This was unveiled last week at the 2017 Monterey Car Week. Where you can just see all the best cars that I'll never afford. And this one is no different. And according to Gordon Wagner, he's Daimler's chief design officer. The Vision Mercedes Maybach 6 Cabriolet takes modern luxury into the realms of ultimate in luxury and is a perfect embodiment of our design strategy. Breathtaking proportions combined with a luxurious haute couture interior, help to create the ultimate experience. And I'll tell you what, in my opinion, this thing is gorgeous. It is a 750 horsepower electric vehicle, 100% electric with better than a 200 mile range. You can't beat that. One of the craziest things I found about this though, is the vehicle is six meters long. You're looking at like 20 feet long there. Can anybody say that that guy is insecure about something? And of course, being a super high-end luxury car, it comes with cool features like under the hood, since it has more space, being an electric vehicle. They've put custom suitcases and picnic supplies. And in the trunk of these cars, they also have room for bottles of champagne. So I guess when you're at the level where you can buy one of these cars, you spend your days going on picnic vacations. Sounds like fun to me. All right, next, let's come back down to the realm of reality. Well, reality being video games. And take a look at this Warthog. I found the original video for this on YouTube. It's on Brian Thaverkamp's YouTube channel. In the video, you can see him doing all of his test runs, really beating the frame to make sure it can do what it can do. Well, yesterday, it was announced as being completed. In order to produce this replica, he started off with a 1984 K10 Blazer. That's the full-size Chevy Blazer. Stuffed a 350 under the hood and then started making custom bodywork. All the bodywork is handmade, custom built, and a lot of the other smaller pieces were even 3D printed. I find the work he did here spectacular. This looks a lot like the Warthog from Halo. And unfortunately, as of right now, it does not have all-wheel drive. Although Brian says that he has the parts to do it. He's just waiting until it passes inspection to become road legal. Then he's going to tinker with putting that on. It will be easier to get it through the road inspection without it. But here we are. A true fan build. A one-of-a-kind, road-worthy Warthog. How cool is that? Well, it seems like I went from energy efficient to gas guzzler. Let's go back to energy efficiency here. Luxembourg police will be receiving two Tesla Model S's to run as police cars. These are going to be full dress patrol ready police cars. Now the Model S is known for its speed. I mean, it accelerates zero to 60 in under three seconds. And it's the one that you find all the videos online of them drag racing. I think that's the P1000 is the one they're drag racing. And it whoops everything modified out there. Well, Luxembourg ordered two Model S's as cruisers, but they didn't state which one they're getting. They're also going to be picking up a bunch of other ones for administration cars and other government use vehicles. And according to the website Electric, Luxembourg is the perfect spot for this. Do you know it's only 51 miles long and 35 miles wide? So one charge in a Model S can get you around the whole country before you need to plug in again. And on that note, I'm going to wrap it up. Thanks for stopping in. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. I do this seven days a week with a live stream on Saturday and a short on Sunday. So I hope to see you here again. And until next time, have fun and be safe.